Hello everyone, thank you for joining our fourth masterclass on TIOS and the new launch of our version 3.0. If that's okay with you, we are just going to wait 30 more seconds just for the late people joiners and then we will start this new session dedicated to meeting room display and TIOS connect with wireless mirroring. Actually, it's already 11.01, so let us start. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining us today. So as I was saying just before, this is our first session of Masterclass related to TIOS. And the main topic of the day is meeting room display and wireless mirroring. So before we start and before we get into the details of it to really show you what we can do, what has changed, what has been improved with the version 3.0 of uh, TIOS. Let us just introduce ourselves quickly. So my name is Thomas Issa, and I'm the head of corporate solutions within Sony, so in charge of the TIOS uh, planning and marketing uh, in Sony Europe. And Guillaume is here with me today. Uh, so Guillaume, I will let you introduce yourself. Good morning, everybody. Um, so I'm Guillaume Fernandez Oliveira, and I am Corporate Solution Architect and Product Planning for Sony as well, of course, in charge of uh, TIOS project. Thank you, Guillaume. So this session will be around 30 minutes uh, duration. Uh, so what we will try to do is really to spend very little time on PowerPoint, more time on the platform itself, really for you to see it and of course at the end of the session and as usual we will take the questions if there are any so just in case in the right side of your screen you should have a place to write some questions so really don't hesitate to do it during the presentation and then we will take them at the end of the session and if we don't have the time we will do it uh, by e email to you uh, afterwards so let us start uh, up uh, so like we were saying, so today we are really focusing on two aspects. Uh, last week was about the flex office, two weeks ago about the room booking and the room booking. Uh, so today will be really about uh, some of our add-ons inside the meeting room. So focusing on the Bravia and the display itself with our meeting display interface, which will basically turn any single black screen or you know, screen waiting for content into a smart and useful uh, screen for meetings. And TIOS Connect, which is our solution to mirror uh, any device to a Bravia or to an Android player, uh, just in case you want, of course, to not use an HDMI, HDMI cable. Up. So let's move forward. So in this version 3.0, and we will start with the meeting uh, display interface, we have done quite some improvements uh, to make it better. So what you will see after is what is, uh, Guillaume is going to show you on the platform itself. But just as a reminder, the solution is really what you can see here. So what we try to do is to make sure that any screen which is inside the meeting room is useful for meetings to be able to start simply when people enter in the meeting room. So as usual, uh, any background, any logo can be changed, but really what's really important for us is to be able to share uh, the main information related to the meeting, which is going to happen in the meeting room using, of course, data that we can get in Office 365, in Microsoft Outlook, in Microsoft Exchange, and so on, in order to make sure that as an employee, if you enter inside the meeting room, you can see directly the title of your meeting, you can see directly the number of participants, the owner of the meeting, you can see directly uh, the agenda of the meeting if you want to, if it's like the, like the Outlook uh, invitation. Like this, you can even start a meeting without connecting anything, all the information you need is there. And we put, of course, a lot of smart uh, functionalities, as we will see in a minute, in order to make sure that we can really help people in meeting rooms and to make sure that we can really try, of course, in our own way to improve the productivity in meetings and in meeting rooms. Up. So basically, with this interface, we offer a few workflows. Uh, there is a screen saver, uh, which we will probably not show you, but this is really for the meeting room. For example, when you have like a glass window, uh, we can turn any meeting room's display into a signage device to show some information like the weather that you can see here, but also uh, company signage, you can show IPTV uh, related to the company, you can show uh, RSS feeds, of course, or social media news. The idea is really to make sure that we can use any of our TOS device into a signage device when it is not used for its purpose. So it is the same, of course, uh, ah, Guillaume, we are losing the screen. Yeah, there is a... The same. Of course, we have the meeting display interface that we will show you. And then, of course, the goal is to be able to display content very simply. But this is something that we will not insist now because we will show you, of course, in the system, but to share information through uh, cables, through um, 
Tios Connect with smart input detection where we can really combine everything together. If you use Tios Connect, if you use uh, HDMI, all, uh, all will work, of course, as well as other solutions like VC system and competitive, of course, uh, solutions. Uh, for the end of the meeting, so this is really the same, uh, but again, this is something that we will show you uh, in a minute after the after the in the presentation. Up. Uh, in terms of other uh, workflows that we can insist on, in terms of introduction, so this is a bit what we have said. So when there is a no appointment or no meetings, we will be able to show some signage information and signage content, which are fully customizable uh, by you, by your customers, by end users, by your know, like designers, and so on. When the meeting will start, so when the meeting room will be checked in, for example, or when it's the time, of course, of the meeting room, all the information related to the meeting, which is going to happen, will be displayed. Uh, during the meeting, of course, you will be able to use the solution uh, combining everything you want. Tios uh, Connect, if you want to do mirroring, where automatically we will uh, switch to the right solution. Or, of course, HDMI cable uh, to go to a computer. And, of course, you can go from one to the other in a very simple way. Uh, the latest one, which connects, will take the priority. Up. When the meeting is close to the end, uh, you will receive some alerts which will be visible on the display. So this is really to make sure also that we can really warn uh, when a uh, meeting is going to end. So basically, uh, you can configure this time in TOS. You can put like 15 minutes before the end of the meeting, we will show a warning. Five minutes before the meeting, we will show a warning. All of this will be displayed in the meeting room device. And of course, when the meeting is over, you can decide if you want to uh, let the meeting continue uh, for the employees or to go back directly to uh, the home screen, which will happen, and where we will display, of course, the information of the next meeting, if there is any. And if not, of course, uh, to signage into the screen saver that you have chose, whether it's with the, with the weather or some company's information. Uh, I think that now the best would be to really take the time to show you a bit more on the platform, if it's okay with you, uh, Guillaume. So what yes. we do is really to take you through uh, the new and latest, of course, version, the 3.0 of TIOS to show you a little bit how we can configure all of this and to see as well as we are used to do in every single week uh, the visual result on uh, the platform itself um, on the device itself sorry uh, using of course the team viewer or any desk uh, access thank you guillaume it's all yours thank you thomas so um going into the TIOS uh, platform so in in our web portal uh, the first part i wanted of course to, to show you is again when uh, you log in the uh, first dashboard because it's also a bit linked with our uh, meeting display here as you can see for example i am uh, having a device uh, i mean a room which is booked which is linked to my uh, uh, meeting display interface that i will show you in a minute and i can see that there is one uh, um, meeting room occupied which is uh, of course uh, based on what i am um, uh, I mean, what is used into the, uh, the the interface I have and the, the environment I have. When I will start playing with uh, with Tios Connect, so doing my mirroring, I will be able also here to uh, feedback the information about active devices being uh, uh, doing uh, presentation or this kind of things directly into the uh, platform interface. We will. I will go back uh, right after into. Um, Actually, no. let's go now into the other section in terms of analytics, which can be quite interesting, which is the meeting statistics. So this one is really related to our um, um, our meeting display. And the interesting part in this part is really to understand how much room, so you can filter by uh, um, by localization, how much room or a space uh, with a Bravia uh, or even a player, but having TIOS Connect and HDMI, we can uh, get uh, statistics from the usage of those devices. So how much uh, presentation we got during a day. So this is an information updated daily because of course there is no necessarily point to uh, get it uh, in live. But uh, in a daily way, we can get, of course, a kind of report where we can see how many HDMI presentations has been done, how many time an HDMI has been connected, or also for TIOS Connect, um, as well as the TIOS Connect presentations, which is also a data which can be quite interesting, at least for a facility manager to understand how much uh, the AV devices can be used maybe in a room and maybe even 
define some actions to do based on those data, probably also at the same time related with the room statistics, as it is, of course, the room booking part and uh, the information about how much the room is used. So that's mainly for the, the, the statistics. Can, if I can just step in, this is actually quite unique because uh, not only we are able really to show like the meeting room uh, statistics and analytics, like you know how many meetings there is per day, the average time uh, people come in, don't come in, and so on. But what is really unique is, like Guillaume said, that for FACI managers, we are really able to give them deep input and deep data about how the people use a meeting room. So how much time they came into the meeting, what is the meeting duration, but how much time during like the one hour of meeting they spent, uh, they spent on an HDMI cable, so like 20 minutes, meaning that the TV has been used only 20 minutes, meaning that uh, they will have like all the information they need to choose the right AV device and the right of course size of meeting rooms for any single meeting rooms of their organization, which uh, is quite a, quite a useful information. Thank you, Guillaume. Thank you, Thomas. So now going into the la next part, which is of course, uh, again, I will go quick because it has been presented already in the previous uh, masterclasses as it's also one of the basic points of our configuration in TIOS is the site configuration, where basically you can define here the hierarchy of your company, including of course the meeting room, the desks, etc. So everything that is related to um, the building uh, in terms of spaces, so a building, a floor, etc. And focusing into our um, meeting room again, so inside this hierarchy, we, we will find basically where we can attach all the different pieces to make that uh, interface possible uh, into, um, in, into, uh, into the display for the, the meeting display. So in terms of configuration, again, we just define a name, we define the group type, which is meeting room in our case. And when defining the type meeting room, we'll have a section here, which will basically be uh, used where we can link our meeting room calendar, which is, of course, one of the pieces which is really important to be able to um, make, to understand the different steps into a, a meeting room usage. So thanks to the calendar, we will know, for example, when the screensaver should stop and start the uh, um, the interface for, for room booking, for, uh, for meeting display, uh, or at the same time, we can after, uh, of course, gather all the information about the meeting um, from the meeting room uh, agenda. Of course, if it is Office 365, Google, Exchange, TIOS calendar, it's not, a, I mean, everything is, is compatible with the, with TIOS on that, as, on that aspect in terms of agenda to be able to make uh, to, to to show all this information and the last step is here the creation of the meeting display which i created uh, into the workplace solution that i need to link with my um, virtual meeting room in that in that aspect in my site under my site configuration to be able to uh, to assign it for the rest of the data of course they can be very useful more for um, more for a, a room booking tablet for example we still get the capacity which is also shown into the tab into the, the room booking tablet under our meeting display. And the idea here, of course, is to be able to provide and to centralize all the data that needs to be shown by all the different devices, including, of course, our meeting display, which is the subject of today. So when configuring this part, there is another step, which is uh, just assigning the um, the meeting room we just created to the device. So we had the device, there is different options. As you know, we have launched also with this version 3.0, a cloud version, which is exactly in the same philosophy in terms of configuration. The only difference is the way that we, uh, um, uh, that we had devices into the platform. When it is on-premise, we uh, put an IP address and we push information, we push commands. And when it is cloud, it is the other way around. We add a device to the cloud and we pull information from the device to the server in order to be able to have all the functionalities that we can provide um, in, uh, in TIOS. So in terms of function, it's the same. And by assigning our device, and in that case, our displays into the meeting display uh, interface, that we will see in a sec, we will um, automatically say to the device to uh, show 
dim the meeting display configured as well as all the configuration that is done according to the, the meeting display. So that's basically the second step. Of course, you, you always need to have uh, at least the site, the, 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 um, the localization, so the, the meeting room created. You can do this step in second or you can even do in the, in the other way around where now we go to workplace solution under our meeting display interface and into this meeting display interface I have one created but of course I can create any uh, ones that I want and we have quite a, a big uh, database of um, of screen savers actually uh, of uh, meeting displays that even we have a bit more uh, if you are interested in there is some with even uh, video backgrounds that can be used we have uh, with different colors we have with different type of data um, actually we did the two new ones one is dedicated for uh, more when you have a TIOS Connect type of connection and the other one is um, more detailing um, how to connect to the room with just an HDMI so maybe with a third party device that you can have where of course this meeting display interface can be used for that purpose to um, give the information on how to use the room basically so when creating this meeting display in terms of configuration as thomas said in terms of workflow we have the uh, alerts before the meeting ends so, so we have the possibility to put two alerts two configuration in terms of alerts from five minutes to 30 minutes and hit, this is where we configure this um, uh, um, pop-up that will appear only on the display side just as a reminder that the, the meeting is about to end this is automatically done there is no more function no more of course configuration than this one of course considering that you have an agenda connected and that's mainly it the other functionality as again thomas said linked to a workflow is at the end of the meeting what type of uh, um, behavior you want as an admin whether you want to keep the user in displaying the external input so being able to show still his content and do what he wants to do during the, the the meeting even if the meeting has ended or to force the meeting to end so basically we go back into our uh, um, into our uh, page um, in, into the meeting display page and we just show the, the content we have also here the functionality to enable the screensaver and here the screensaver is linked basically to a presentation. Next week we will explain you in our next masterclass how the signage module is working. Uh, but basically we uh, create a signage presentation and we can link it. Actually even surveys can be added. In our case of course for meeting display uh, you can if you want if you add of course a, um, um, a touch overlay it's a bit more used for a tablet uh, we think it's more convenient uh, but it's again an option that can be used uh, into this uh, meeting display interface and in terms of functionality quite similar actually to the room booking one there is configuration about uh, when to disable the uh, screen saver it can be as a minimum one minute uh, before the meeting start and when enabling the screen saver again it can be from one minute after the meeting's end uh, to be able to enable the screen saver and the two other options are basically when we do interruption so it's also something mainly more used into a room booking interface um, to be able to go back uh, into the uh, screen saver when there is no bookings the last part here in terms of configuration is to show automatically the TIOS connect information you will always be able of course to customize it if you want maybe to put it in your own language etc but by selecting this basically we can get back the ip address of the device if needed or the meeting name automatically uh, where of course it's the way that you can find the device and it's automatically done by our tios interface by our, by our tios software so i just go into an existing one so basically here i have uh, connected all my meeting rooms this is the way that i connect my meeting rooms with the uh, interface with the with the, 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 the template basically which also is a nice functionality in terms of uh, integration because like that you can also define in a 
easy way what meeting room will and what display at the end will show what type of meeting interface because maybe you want to diff differentiate them by flow or by zones or by any type of things and in terms of design you have all the flexibility in that aspect so now uh, in just a sec i just want to show you the interface for the configuration of the meeting display interface uh, so here by clicking into the small template uh, you can get all the um, uh, designer part where you can configure uh, you can um, customize you can different you can change all the configuration in terms of uh, meeting display you can change logos so everything is fully customizable so it's keeping of course the philosophy of CEO since the beginning uh, to bring really flexibility and uh, still under uh, a simple way of, uh, of work so that's that's basically what is uh, configured and in terms of result so here I have um, my meeting display so i have an any desk connected to my bravia showing my information so here um i i have created a, a booking which is called the master class uh, i have in terms of information my meeting room name i have the capacity i have uh, the organizer of the meeting which is automatically gathered from the calendar part and i have the meeting title which is shown here in terms of information we can add a lot more this is after fully customizable from tios uh, interface uh, here i have my tios connect connection information in my case i don't have a wi-fi direct connection which we will see in a sec about functionality uh, i just have a, a network configuration a network connection and i can connect to my device in terms of latest information, I have, of course, um, just the time that can be shown. Uh, it's taken from the, the device and it can be, of course, again, fully uh, customized into uh, the TOS interface. So that's for the first part. Let's move directly now into the next part, which is TOS Connect explanation. Of course, both are linked, but uh, we uh, want to explain you a bit more details about TOS Connect as well. So, uh, yeah. No, I was going to say indeed, and we are going to finish uh, the meeting and the session on, on this aspect. So, really, TIOS Connect is our, as you know, mirroring solution uh, in order to be able to share any content from any device, so Windows device, Mac OS device, iOS, Android, of course, in what we hope is a very, very, very simple way, because all you have to do is to download a little piece of software, which is an executable where you don't need any rights for it, on uh, tios.work uh, as a simple address. You just open, automatically we scan and we display uh, the device that you have access with their name, so the meeting room name, which has been configured. You can just choose the room, you can put uh, connect. Automatically there will be a code which will appear on the Bravia and you just put the code, you say connect and hop, it will start presenting and you will have like the full control, uh, full sharing of your content on the device in a very, very, very basic and simple way. Uh, the latency works really well, it's uh, very live. Uh, there is, of course, a lot of specifications, but we will not take the time to go through that uh, today. But basically, for a very, very entry price, it works perfectly. You have like the right security uh, behind. Um, you can share any content, of course. It's fully compatible with uh, HDMI device and uh, other TIOS Connect. You can mirror up to four people at the same time with all uh, those code securities. And again, mixing different devices. So really, it's a simple and smooth uh, way of solution that we push in most of our projects uh, using uh, the meeting display. Um, I don't know if uh, there is anything you want to add, Guillaume, on, uh, on this. Yeah, this is also, sorry fully yeah. touch compatible, which is really important, meaning yeah. that, uh, and this is for example something that we have deployed, deployed sorry, in a lot of meeting rooms uh, from Capgemini. So all their displays or touch displays, so interactive device, and using TOS Connect, they can take the control of their PC uh, directly on the TV, on the Bravia, without any HDMI, without any cable, and what I will touch will of course uh, modify the PC, so they can really work with the touch screen wireless, which is also quite a very strong functionality and not so, um, how do you call it, quite not unique, but quite unique at the same time. 
Yes, in fact, uh, Thomas, as a, just a lay, last information, there is, of course, the, the portable version, but also uh, um, a distributable version for an IT management team, which is able, of course, to provide it through the pieces of a company, so it's fully uh, manageable, and there is what we call a display list, where, again, IT team can manage uh, and, and push to the devices of the employees the list of, the, of uh, devices that can be, uh, that, that can be found. Perfect, thank you. Uh, this is what we have shown also. So again, you have like all the statistics that you need uh, within TIOS, where we really mix every single items that are connected to TIOS from the meeting room device, the room booking, uh, the employee house, the, of course, the meeting TIOS connect and so on. So really our goal and our intention is really to provide uh, the right data for facility management and live measures to make the right decision in the right time when it comes about uh, the meeting room uh, size, the meeting room uh, use, the meeting room device, and so on. Uh, but just as a reminder uh, to let you know, uh, today in terms of price, uh, so this is how it works as you know, uh, so in order to get the meeting display on uh, Bravia, where you will be able of course to use signage as well and any of our other applications, it is 120 euro per year uh, as an advanced license, where all the TOS functionalities will be enabled by default. So basically 10 euro per month uh, per Bravia, uh, and then of course uh, the license for the connect on the on top of it is at 250 euro, but this one is not um, is not uh, a yearly cost, but really like a for life cost. Um, working on projects, of course. Uh, well, that's pretty much it for the for the business part and the business model part. Yeah. Just wanted to uh, show you in a sec, basically, uh, how it looks like. So here I have also another team viewer connected to um, a PC. So just to show you, so this is the TIOS Connect interface. So you just need to open it and it's a portable version. When I want to connect, so I have the list of my devices, I can also directly search for my device. Um, so the, the research can be... Uh, done automatically by any type of keyword. So like that, you can research your device. The device um, information, of course, normally it's more matching with the meeting room name. Like that, it makes life easier for, for, uh, for employees. So thanks to that option, you will be able basically to um, uh, to uh, to find automatically the room. There is another very nice option that, uh, in fact, we didn't if we didn't show into this presentation, which is through our Outlook add-in, we have the possibility uh, to uh, generate automatically a link with uh, Tios Connect. So I can show you here into um, my um, Outlook. So I have the possibility here to mirror. To press the, to mirror a device and basically thanks to this option we gather all the information about uh, the room information because of course when you do an invitation you invite a room to book it uh, we gather all the information about the start time of your meeting the end time of your meeting and by pressing add a mirroring link tios uh, is automatically generating a link and when, of course, you go into the meeting, when your meeting starts, as you do with the team, you open this uh, uh, agenda where you have the invitation. Actually, it works. It can work for you as a host, but also for your invitees who has access to, to you, so the other employees. And by clicking on the mirroring, uh, on the mirroring link, you will be able automatically to mirror your content without of course, searching for any um, for any room name or even to put a four-digit PIN code because, of course, you are authenticated in the way that we know your name, we know um, your the room where you are and your time, your start time and end time. So this is also a functionality really interesting, really powerful, and in the same trend and the same philosophy of uh, uh, teams where you can generate automatically a mirroring link when you have when you are of course using Tios Connect into your um, into your uh, your company. So this is also a great functionality that is available. But here coming back into uh, our Tios Connect uh, here, of course, uh, we use the same uh, software behind to make do, the two different workflows. Here, I just has, have to select my device. I press Connect. And when pressing Connect, as you can see, my Bravia has, is showing now a four-digit PIN code. 
So I just have to put up my um, my pin code, uh, and I can mirror my display uh, directly to my Bravia uh, and be able, of course, to uh, to get uh, all the, the the all the functionalities of mirroring directly from from my uh, my display. In terms of additional functionalities here from the, the small software you have when you are in multi uh, connection so for example in split mode when somebody else is also mirroring and at a certain point in time you want to put your screen in full screen so you just have to click here you have also a small plus button if you want to add manually a device if for example the device is new and it has not been added maybe into a list of devices to be able to be shared or whatever so this is also an additional option that you have here and of course the two buttons one to connect another one to disconnect so here if i disconnect i will go automatically to my uh, meeting interface back to my meeting interface and um, in addition if i have of course after screen saver i will go back into the screen saver automatically and the process and the philosophy is as well the same for um, for an HDMI connection to make sure that uh, we make life simple for a user. We remove as much as we can a, um, a remote, and any remote, of course, is uh, uh, I mean we we would like to avoid the remotes for this type of usage in order to make really life simple. Of course, this cannot be used in all type of rooms, like very large meeting rooms with multiple displays, etc. It's a bit more integration, but for smaller rooms, for medium rooms where there is this type of functions, even if you have, for example, uh, uh, another uh, device in HDMI, a VC system, which is always connected in, in HDMI, but sometimes it's not used, you can have TIOS Connect that will switch automatically when of course there is a connection and when disconnecting if the vc system is on it will go back to the vc system if the vc system is off it will go back uh, to uh, the meeting display interface so that's also a full workflow to bring as much simplicity and flexibility to uh, to the users behind i think that's all from my side yes thank you very much guillaume as we are ending of course and we are already like two minutes uh, after the meeting um, so thank you very much everyone for joining this session uh, we don't have much time for the questions so we'll take them uh, by email and come back to you just to let you know that the next uh, session will be about uh, digital signage so in one week from now same time where we will show you how we create the content in uh, TTOs, uh, how it works, the different compatibilities on the platform, and spend quite uh, some time on it, as uh, we have done today on the meeting room display, and the wireless mirroring. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So thank you guys uh, for joining today. We hope that you enjoyed that session uh, as usual. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them here now, or of course, uh, to let us know by email. But in any case, we will come back to you, uh, whatever happens. And we will share, of course, uh, this presentation uh, to you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much, Guillaume, also, uh, for the presentation. And speak to you in one week, uh, one week from now. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.